Hello to all, I want to introduce to you the new Free Stabilizer. The Free Stabilizer uses about 1.5GB RAM on 4K source videos, and it is limited to position and rotate stabilization by its alpha stage. On the screen, you see the endangered European hamster video recorded handheld on a FC-1000 with around 600mm focal length. This tool is useful for all users who have to stabilize their video before cutting it. Especially for users of Kden Live, Shotcut and OpenShot now have a good free alternative stabilization tool to the built-in stabilization. It is designed for people who want to make the fine-tuning themselves for the best results because you have to set up all values manually for each video without reanalyzing it. You will find the best parameters for your video with the camera graphical flow paths for the horizontal and vertical movements in pixels and frames. A margin lower than zero indicates to you that you do see a black border in the cropped and stabilized video on the particularly frames. Be aware that wrong setting will show you black borders or too low stabilization without any warning. Now it is time for a quick start guide. First open a new project and then select a source video. For the first time, click on generate all and wait until the video is exported correctly. If the video looks fine, great. If there are too many black sections in the video or it is too shaky, no worries, this can be tuned easily. But if the video output is too wobbly the free stabilizer cannot correct this. Now it is time for fine tuning. After the video was analyzed once be clicking on generate all or analyze source file, the stabilization analysis can be loaded with analyze source video and new settings can be observed with clicking on calculate camera path. On the graphical display, the horizontal axis are showing the frame numbers in playback so this is the timeline. The vertical axis shows the pixel deviation of the video. The red line shows the detected camera movement here from the horizontal movement of the video. The gray line is the smoothed movement of the exported video and most important the black line shows the border margin in pixels by the selected crop for the exported video. If the margin stays over zero, you will not see any borders in the exported video, but if the margin goes below zero, the borders will show up in the exported video. There is no further warning because the free stabilizer is designed for full manual control used on uncut video material out of the camera. The following example is showing you in very shaky and unusable video transformed into a partly usable video. In the next clip, we have to fix the black border problem in the beginning and on the end. The shorter the clip is, as stronger the smoothing is, and as more movement is on the beginning and the end as more likely the custom start and custom stop values need to be set in case. This is done by setting and enabling custom start values and custom end values. These custom values are the wanted magic pixel values from the camera flow path. Let's fix the problem. First we fix the horizontal stabilization by setting in good end value and lowering the filter strength. Sadly, we need to increase the crop here. Now we fix the vertical stabilization.
Note that the rolling shutter effect from your video does influence the rotation stabilization in a bad way, so the strength is kept on its default low level. Take a look at the result. On the left side, you will see the unfixed border issue in the video, and on the right, you see the fixed video. This was the quick intro for you to make smooth videos with the new free stabilizer. At the release of this video, there is only the total free Windows version available, which also runs on Linux and Mac under the Wine environment. It is now time to try out the new free stabilizer. The download link is below the video.